In today's tutorial, let's create a fancy slideshow effect to spice up your travel video. My name is Adrian and this is Cast Your Memories channel, where I break down shooting as well as editing techniques. So without further ado, we've got our clip in the timeline. And let's say from this moment, we want our photo pop out of the mobile screen. By the way, I have a similar tutorial showing how to create jump into screen effect. Those kind of transitions is always interesting and catch viewer attention. We're gonna keep it simple. No tracking involved this time. So open real-time control and create a freeze frame. I will trim right. So now our video ends with freeze frame. Next, add photo to the track above. Let me enable spot on the mouse. Again, I forgot about it. It should be better now, sorry for that. So this is what we've got, our photo above the clip. From the effects menu, search for DVE and add it to the photo. And in the inspector, in effects tab, use position rotation controls to place the photo over the screen. Okay, now move forward maybe 5 frames and split. We're gonna need this 5 frames long clip to create this kind of flash effect. But now let's create keyframes for position and rotation. So click these white diamonds uh, corresponding to the controls you want to keyframe. So in our case position, rotations. We'll need crop width and height controls. And that should be it. Now move the playhead forward around a second or so and position the photo to its ending location. So this is what we've got. Next, we need to ease the animation so it's more dynamic and natural looking. For that, we will use Fusion, but don't worry, it's really simple. Just click this icon, select DVE node, open spline, check all those boxes, Open 3-dot menu and make sure you have Show Only selected tool enabled. You can also zoom to fit. So now we see only the keyframes we want to work on. Select them all by tapping Ctrl A keys. Now right click menu, go to Ease and choose Outback Cubic. So this is how the animation looks like now. Now let's create this white flash effect. So select the 5 frames clip and go to the color page. In primary wheels, increase offset so it's almost white. Okay, back to the edit page. Let me disable shadow in the DVE effect. So you need to set shadow strength control to zero. Now in the effects, video transition, apply cross dissolve transition to our tiny clip. It looks too fast. Let me make it longer. Yeah, it should look better now. Yeah, definitely. There is one more step. I don't like the way the underlying clip is freezed. Let's do something about it. So let me cut it right at the moment the freeze frame kicks in. And let's add adjustment clip above it. Like that. I will also fade it in. Let me trim all the clips in the timeline. Okay. And now let's add camera shake effect to the adjustment clip. It can be found in the open effects bin. Now let's play with the camera shake controls so it looks more plausible. And this is it. Let me know what you think about this effect and any comment will be very much appreciated. That helps support my channel. As mentioned before, check out my other tutorial regarding jump into the screen effect. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers!